What's up you guys, Josh Tonga here. Today, I wanna to talk about a subject that seems to be really misunderstood within the law of attraction community, and it's this idea of detachment and letting go when it comes to manifesting. And I'll be sharing what Neville Goddard had to say about it and why his explanation makes a lot more sense than what's commonly being taught out there. Because it can sound so confusing, right? Or even contradictory. Because you'll hear people say that you gotta have a burning or an intense desire, but then you're also told that you gotta let go. And then you're like, uh, <laughs> so which is it? Are they mutually exclusive? Is it a paradox? What's going on here? Because once you understand what it really means to detach and let go, then by the end of this, you'll be able to level up your manifesting game and experience your wish fulfilled a lot quicker and easier. You know what I'm saying? And you can learn more about this from Neville's work called Fundamentals. You see, the problem is when people think that they gotta let go of their desire completely in order to manifest what they want. Because you'll hear stories of people who say things like, once I learned how to let go and detach, then that's when my desire finally manifested. And you know what? When I hear that, I get it. But when those who hear that kind of language for the first time, it can still sound confusing. Why? Because it's still not clear of what exactly you need to let go of or detach from. Granted, sometimes I hear people say, you got to detach from the outcome so that God, the universe, will do what's best for you. Or let go and let God, meaning they want God's will to be done instead of theirs. Now, I'm not going to deny the stories of people who claim that once they let go, such and such happen, or the ones who say that they don't even think about their needs that much, where they set it and forget it, so to speak, yet their needs are still met and taken care of. But what I want to do is give you guys some clarity on how the manifestation process works in a natural way. And basically, there are three fundamentals that Neville refers to. Number one, self-observation. Number two, definition of aim. And number three, detachment. Now, let me take you through this. First off, Neville believes that consciousness is the one and only reality and that we live and move in different states. And he wanted people to always remember that it's a person's state of consciousness that attracts, yes, he uses the word attracts, the situations and circumstances of his or her life. There's a connection between your inner state and your outer life. Everything's a state of consciousness made visible. So if you want to change the way your outer world looks like, then guess what? You got to change your inner world first it always starts with us our thoughts and feelings that we're identifying with you see neville points out that many times we don't even realize that our state of consciousness is a sum total of our reactions to life for example someone spreads a rumor but check this out one person has an anxious reaction but then another person doesn't which proves what that those two people are living in two different states of consciousness so that's the first fundamental self-observation what are your reactions to life? Then he says that if you want to make a change in your life, the second fundamental is this, formulating an aim. What do you want? What kind of person do you want to be? What's the particular state you desire? Then once you clearly define your aim, start noticing your reactions during the day in regard to that aim. Why is this important? Because if all things are states of consciousness, and let's say you define your aim as wanting to be a more kind and loving person, then you can easily tell if you're faithful to your aim, how? By observing your reactions to life. Because here's the thing, if you're faithful to your aim, he says, your reactions will conform to that state because you'll be thinking from it, right? A loving state will have reactions that'll exemplify it. But if your reactions are not in harmony with your aim, with that state, then you're only thinking of it. See the difference? Thinking of it versus thinking from it. You wanna live from that state, from the end, in other words, you want to assume you already are that person you want to be, whoever it is, and then notice your reactions in regard to that assumption because it'll reveal the state you're operating from. And lastly, there's a third fundamental, which is detachment. What does Neville mean by it? Now, are you supposed to detach from your desire? Nope. Like go of your wish fulfilled? Of course not. What Neville means is detachment from, listen, all negative states. What does he mean by all negative states? It's your negative moods and negative thoughts, your old reactions. Let them go. Because once you separate from those things, he says, it'll help you escape your habitual reactions to life. That's why you got to formulate an aim and constantly notice yourself in regard to it. Look, if you want to talk about surrendering, then yeah, you can. Surrendering is good. But surrendering to what? Surrendering to your wish fulfilled. Not letting go of your heart's desire, folks. All right, let me break this down. First fundamental is self-observation. What are your reactions to life? Second fundamental is defining an aim. What do you want? And then the third fundamental is detachment from all negative states and attachment to your aim. 
All right, Real Talk, it's the beginning of the new year, and some of you listening are noticing that you're still struggling with certain habits that you have, you know what I'm saying? Where you're like, why the hell do I keep doing this? And you're habitually reacting in ways you wish you didn't. And well, let me first say this, don't be hard on yourself, okay? Seriously, you're okay. You're okay right now. And you watching or listening to this tells me that you want to change, and that's the first step. But now let me ask you, and if you can, respond in your mind as you're hearing this. What do you want? Who do you want to be? Have an aim, okay? Now, once that's clear, remember, I'm not going to ask you to let go of your desires and just watch whatever's thinking happens. No, nah, dude, your desires are sacred. Your desires are sacred. I'm telling you to detach yourself and let go of your old negative states, your negative moods and thoughts. How? By fully assuming your wish fulfilled, by fully attaching yourself to your aim. Don't ever dig up the seat and detach from your dream, you guys. That's silly. Because once you let go of your dream, you know what happens? You stop placing your awareness on it and you're no longer giving it life, for goodness sake. So dare to fully assume and attach to your ideal. Go straight to the end and believe that you are who you want to be right now. And trust me, you won't have to force anything. Yeah, you'll have a feeling of detachment, that's for sure. But it's a letting go of all your doubts and wants and desperation. Because you will have moved into the state of your wish fulfilled and your desire will come to pass because you get what you believe. Yeah, 2020 is going to be sticking dope. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, if you're encouraged by this, please do me a favor, like and share it. Or if you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review because it'll get more people to discover my work and, of course, help spread this message. Love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And don't forget to register for my free online training where I teach you how to manifest a life you really want faster than you've ever imagined. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more is coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.